Where were you this weekend? Happy Martin. birthday, Girl. Martin! Huh? It's yeah, happy Martin birthday. birthday! It was. It we're was. back hey. in the podcast hey. room. All right. Happy birthday. Martin turned a young 37. There you go. Happy birthday. 37 years old. Everybody Ooh, wish yeah. Martin a honk your horn if you're driving down the road. That's right. Look, here's the beauty of it. Uh, what's the beauty of it? I got a birthday present and I want to share with everybody. Okay. Oh, good. But Here I got to go. ask you something first. Okay. Which flavor oh, would you like? Praise the Lord. Would Ooh. you like original? Um, OG's always solid. Interested. Right. Jalapeno. That's nobody's right. ever been mad at that. Yeah. You bourbon can't... barbecue. Ooh, bourbon barbecue. Why not? I got to yeah, drive right. home. Smoked or just hot and spicy? I'm going to go... Jalapeno. Jalapeno. You're going to jalapeno. Okay. Boy. Smoke. Have, what are hey, you going? This is your day, JD. I don't know what Have it is. Have we got a treat for you? Is it chicken skins? Is it no. potato <laughs> chicken? Good guess. Nope. That's a good guess, too. Is it it's something in the box? It's something in the box. Ladies and gentlemen, and Martin hey, has and in the box. Jalapeno? Hey. Who who'd ordered hey. the jalapeno? I'm nervous. Hey. Martin is searching deep in a box. Well, they're not in order. Oh, I know they got, hey, they got to have jalapenos. So, what is it? You, well, hey, well, he's, hey, he's going to pass. He's about to pass let, it out. You got to let the drink. Jalapeno. Brr. Hey, what, what do you want, Si? Uh, hey, jalapeno is a good one. Okay, yeah, y'all can share. We don't yeah. have to eat them all. Yeah, that's right. You ready, Johnny D? What is it? Yeah. Coming at you. All right. Oh, no, thank you. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. not eating it. No. Yes. Not eating it. Crack them yeah. open, son. No, no, no. No, 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 you can have them, man. Uh, hey. Who oh. sent you Get those? Him. Hey. Get him, Sai. No, you're eat. trying your first one on the podcast. I, no, no, whoa, 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 whoa. Just, to be, just first a bite. One, Don't make me cut you. Get that. <laughs> sir, <laughs> speak <laughs> into the microphone. <laughs> speak into the This is a podcast, hey. sir. Here. I'm Get not you. eating Vienna hey. sausage. Look. No. I just ate lunch. I'm on a diet. No. 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 Look. That's pure yeah. protein. Hey. No. Look. You can do it. Yeah. Johnny yeah. D. Not do it. You, one bite. There was a bad experience. One bite. No. Hey. I also don't eat chicken and a biscuit crackers for the Happy same reason. Happy birthday. <laughs> no. Get back up here. I'm not eating oh. it. Johnny D. Come on. I, we will, I will uh, die on this. Johnny D. I'll a fan sent this in. Yeah. To a that fan. fan. A there's fan a, sent it. In that same convenience store you were in, there's a section called Jack Link's. Way better. No, oh, gross. Oh, <laughs> I'm just going to say, <laughs> I smell you it. don't get a case in a convenience yeah. store. No. Yeah. yeah, I don't know where he went. I Look. sell Vienna sausage at the Honey Hole. Well, you've got to know your product. I, do, I had it right. when, long ago, no, and I'm good. You're a grown man now. Now you need to Why try aren't you, you can do it. Hey. What flavor you want me to eat? Uh, you can and just do watch it. me is all mm. I got to tell you. There's smoke. I didn't know there was flavors. Bourbon smoke. barbecue? Ooh. Okay, well, I got major hey, issues. Hey, wait, hey. You, look, you can even go over and get the W sauce. We'll let you dip it in the dip W it sauce. In the, and just take a little bite. Why would I take something so fine and put it on something so vile? That's not, not bad. It's not bad, I'm telling you. Look, I'm, I'm hey. I can't do it. No, no. Si, will you do it for him? Huh? Y'all share one. I'll, I'll eat one. Eat one, one Si. Hey, I, I'm well, I'll you. eat one. Yeah. Johnny D. I don't have a microphone. You're not going to do this for the fans that sent this in for you. And for my birthday. They sent it in. Bad, the only thing he bad, wants for his you're birthday. Being bad. If I was your your uh, parent. Agent. I would pick my bell off and bless you your behind right now. <laughs> they're okay. green because they're how happy. Green, look here. Get one out of there, Si. That grief. Si, Watch show it. him how to do look. it, si. Ooh, look at that jelly, son. Mm. Si just took a big <laughs> bite, y'all. Si, what do you think about it, Si? <laughs> hey, look, and not... Are these jalapenos? All That's what it says. Okay. Okay, now it's hitting. Oh. Hey, there it is. Okay. It's a late bloomer. Let's let you use your microphone. This is, no, no, this is late because I didn't taste the peppers at first. Look, I just ate. It will It won't settle, right? Johnny D. Johnny I D. have a weak stomach Johnny and you know it. Johnny Are you D. literally going to let us down like hey, this? look. I will throw no, up. I'll, no, I'll, you won't. You know I will. This isn't oh. hog head cheese. You, you, will, you, you have you, seen me throw up from gross stuff before. So. One but bite. it's not hey. gross. I'm a child. I cannot eat so things I, I do not mouth. like. I will throw up on the podcast. I'll give you $5 just to take a bite. You're going to have to go way higher. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hundo. No, it just do it for my birthday and for the fans. Well, hey, look. I just smelled it and, and no, gagged. No, look. You got to just get, take hey, one away get, from get, the rest. Just take a, a bite. I can't do it. 
I cannot do it. Yeah, you can. What about a different flavor? No. Smoke. Oh, here he goes. Here he goes. There look, you don't go. Don't pressure go him anymore. Don't back. pressure him anymore. That is so nasty. Hey, look. Here's bite. what I'll tell you. It's college and tequila. Just get rid of it quickly. Hey, look here. No. Trust yes. me. JD, trust me. That ain't trust science. If I swallow the whole thing without chewing, no. does that count? No. Yes. 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 That counts. That may, yes, it counts, but that hurt. may make me gag. It also may... No. Look. How you got? There you go. Yes! <laughs> he did it, boy. I'll see y'all. <laughs> he did it. Oh, it's gross. He did it. It's hey, so spicy. By the way, I don't eat Vienna sausage. <laughs> you Dang ruined it. my drink? <laughs> <laughs> Why is this a thing? Where did it? When did it become something? I don't know, but I'm glad to know that peer pressure only takes you three minutes. <laughs> well, you know that was a lot. A lot of peer pressure. Do you want the? I'm gonna put the half bit one back in there. No, I'm throw it in the garbage. <laughs> we got a garbage over. <laughs> that was really gross. <laughs> How do you know it was in your mouth? Point two. Because I started to chew. Oh, he did. And not. I then I started to gag immediately. I can't do it, Martin. You know I'm a child. <laughs> You know I can't eat things that are gross. <laughs> yeah. I would have went with the double sauce. Know. I'm just glad you picked your own flavor. That made yeah. Me the jalapeno made it worse, by the way. Uh, Ladies and uh, gentlemen, if you're gonna eat Vienna sausage, get a saltine cracker. I'd have probably went with bourbon barbecue. No, That's no, no, me. no, no. Well, I, I thought we were getting potato chips, man. Yeah. Well, JD, the cracker would have helped. Look. Or good pretzels. Uh, so Johnny D. Just... Oh, it's on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> it's dripping. Oh, juicy. I gotta go take it. We, Johnny, we're Jesus. not to the break yet. We got two more minutes. Oh, you got it. You got to tough it out. Hold I gotta it. Gotta hold yeah. this. Oh, good, good. That was My great. phone's covered in Vienna juice. Oh. <laughs> I hope it rings. <laughs> Servings about two. There's 220 oh. calories in this thing. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, I always know what I why I lean towards you, JD. Why, sir? Si? He's a big kid, just like I am. Oh yeah. <laughs> I can't do that. Martin got everything he wanted for his birthday now. Oh, birthday oh. complete. Who sent, was there a name? Yes. Give it. You me. know him. <laughs> oh, Philip, Kevin. Philip Mr. McMillan. Snip. Oh, come on, that guy. Andrew, our man Andrew said, <laughs> you've got to get Johnny D to try this on the podcast. Well, you're welcome. You got oh. Andrew. <laughs> Andrew Parks, Mr. Snip. Hey, he, he emailed si, He's the one that sent you that knife. Yeah. He sends a lot of stuff. Yeah. yeah. Well, I like to cut him. He hey. he came and visited us, and uh, we sat on Sides back porch and played some music. Oh man, that's uh. Well, thanks, man. <laughs> you nasty. That that, that that was priceless. I didn't want to try it. Why was that thing? Uh, Why not? I guess you need hey, to try look, it. Look, your that, customers, but you reorder Vienna sausage at the Honey Hole. Now you know all the flavors. Imagine yeah. what sales are going to do. Right. You get bourbon barbecue. I think hey, I'm about look, to take a These out. are hey, these are the snacks for fishermen. And you can probably you can probably sell them. Oh yeah, with a cup of W sauce hey, for look. a dollar. And hey, mark them up. Uh oh. Why is why are you on the phone? Hey, hey and, Andrew. What's going on, buddy? Hey, look, those Vienna sausages you just sent up to the the oh. du the duck call room. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, Johnny D just almost passed out when he ate one. <laughs> is that a good or a bad thing? Well, hey. It was priceless. I didn't Sorry. know Philip had his phone number. <laughs> oh, I, hey, I got Andy. I got him on speed hey, dial. Right. Philip's a man of the people. Right, buddy. Uh, hey, look, we appreciate you sending them. We uh, No, we don't. We do. <laughs> me, and, me and Cy and Martin do, for sure. Oh, that's the best life I've had in 20 years. <laughs> I'm Joe telling you, I will kick your feet up and just have a roar. All right, I'm good now. That's right. Hey, we, appreciate hey. you, Andy. See you later. <laughs> You got it, buddy. Hey, I hope that makes it on the screen, man. Hey, oh, it oh, did. I bet you do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we'll see you guys. Oh. All right. See you, Andy. So to oh. those that eat that, I got a question. Well, you're talking to me, for one. So do you what? eat those? Yes. Just regularly? On crackers? Do you crackers? know how easy that fits in your blind bag? Yeah. So would a little small bag of beef jerky or a can of Pringles. JD, oh, yeah. JD's like, but they're not Vienna sausage. Huh? Hey, JD's with Vienna sausage is like I was with that guy with the, eating the inside of a of a deer. Yeah, but that is the inside of no, a pig. No, but hey, this has at least been processed. It's no, been it processed. Uh, too much. No, 
So what, you, what's what's wrong with the flavor, the texture? Where you at? Well, I don't want to say too much in case they want us to do an ad sometime. So I really liked them. <laughs> if you're listening, marketing hey. Uh, hey. officer of Vienna. Phenomenal fee. He will pitch it's, for this. Place. It's it's actually the surrounding liquid. That the you, jelly. Yeah, that's yeah. What you, get, you get it See, away. That's from why there, you put okay. him on the deck of your boat up there in the yeah. sunlight, and you let that oh. jelly melt, and then you pour it off. Yeah, then you hey. you crack the lid, pour yeah. the jelly yeah. off, yeah. and then you enjoy one of nature's finest delicacies. Oh, <laughs> that has nothing oh, to do I with nature, no, sir. No, no. I had a buddy that he liked the jelly more than he did the vanilla sausage. <laughs> now, see, me and him would have trust well, issues. So right? I, me too, because every time he used to do it, I would just go, whoa, dude, pour, that, like, to look, pour that off. I, I'm a spam eater too now. Hey. But look, now, first, you get I, like spam, to cook spam. I, I like to cook it. If you put spam it on is pan, that if you put it on heat like but, you're talking but about. But what I'm saying with Spam is it, it's still got that jelly around it, too. Well, so the yeah. first thing I do is drop it on paper towel, and I, I remove said oh, yeah. jelly, and yeah. then we get to cooking it. The jelly's yeah. all over the desk, by the way. That's well, good. That'll yeah. be there. Clean. Look, no, that'll no. be there till Jesus comes back, and when we get back from this commercial. <laughs> so right. We'll see right you all right after this. And I hope he comes come back, back with us soon. Look at our man. Look at Smiling Mike. Right there. Right. Why What's ain't up, he been Mike? referred to as Smile of Mike? Because he's got that cool mustache. It is. A oh big yeah. Well, I know one thing. They got bad to bone towels. <laughs> I you reason? It. No, it took him <laughs> no, so no, long because no, he didn't know whether to say towels. He didn't well, know whether to say no, no, slippers, and he didn't no, know whether no. to say the one that brought him their pillows. Just, I yeah. was, hey, I was thinking about how fluffy they are, and it left me speechless for a second. <laughs> yeah. So I said, "Honey, is this the pillow?" She says, "That's just the towel." That's he right, said, "It sure is fluffy." <laughs> All right, boy. It sure is fluffy. You ain't gonna know what to do when you get your head on that's the pillow, right. then. Well, okay. Look, we do all love all the products, the slippers, pillows, towels, you name it. It doesn't matter. But right now, MyPillow is having their biggest bed sheet sale ever. The MyPillow Percale sheets are available in a variety of colors and all sizes are on sale. For example, the queen size sheets are regularly priced at $89.98 and right now they're $39.98. 50 bucks. With promo code DUCK at MyPillow.com slash DUCK. That's, that's over half off. That's incredible. I do. But you have to order now because there's a very limited supply. The MyPillow Percale sheets are breathable and have a cool, crisp feel. They have deep pockets to fit over any mattress, and they come with a 10-year warranty and a 60-day money-back guarantee, but you won't need it. You've got to check out the great specials from MyPillow. Go to MyPillow.com slash duck and use promo code duck to get up to 66% off and to get MyPillow Percale sheets for as low as twenty nine ninety eight. Again, just go to MyPillow.com slash duck and save 50 bucks. But you use promo code duck. There you go. Or you can call 800-969-3137 and use promo code duck. Order now because when they're gone, they're gone. They're and hey, gone. save you fifty bucks. He gone. For real though, when I used to stop at a gas station and get them, I'd have to get one of them coffee stirs because the hard part is getting that first one out. But you could take a coffee stir and shove it all the way to the bottom. Yep. And, and it, that first yep. one would remove. And once you got that one out. Yep. That was the key to the puzzle. It's, figure, yep. it's like Jenga. Whichever yep. one comes yep. out. <laughs> yep. But you take that coffee stirrer and stick it. No, it didn't, look, you get to grab that coffee stirrer and <laughs> get that meat out of it. They got Slim Jim there, and you just peel it, and it's, <laughs> it's delicious. At every store that sells those. So oh. you think Slim Jim's made out of better materials than Vienna's? Oh. Same thing. Same thing. thousand percent. It's the same stuff. Slim same Jim stuff. just got liquid smoke wrapped around it, it, and it's dried out. Yeah. The, the, this one comes with hydration built in. That's that's, right. Hey, they should dry them out. Then be that, hydrated. and they get real thin and crunchy, and big. Awesome. So you would try by in a jerky? Maybe mm. I would. Yeah, <laughs> I just hey. tried standard regulation, Vienna. Vienna, if you're listening. Hey, I apologize. There is a strong hey, chance yeah, you okay. are, which is the hey, best. Hey, they we love be, you. They, they might I be or something. I yeah. will say, Vienna look, I posted. Jerky. I posted those three cans of the flavors I hadn't seen on my Instagram story. And I can tell you this, one of our fans works where those are made. Because they said, I bet I made the bourbon barbecue ones. How does so, there you go. They it. just sent me a message. Of course, I replied. I said, good work. Good work. Where is that? I don't know. Well, I think that's Somewhere around Vienna. You don't need to get no, into sir, that. No, sir, that's in the deep south. I was just thinking, that. you don't need to get into that. What's that? About he works where it's made. Yeah, we don't need to see yeah. that. You, it's, I don't need yeah. to see how the sausage yeah. is made. Just oh, give no. me the sausage. Yeah. No, oh, I'm no. not worried about it. You don't want to go where it's... Where si, it's you probably seen it on PBS. Hey. Well, no, I've been in there like, you know, and, and no. Once was enough. 
You won't ever go there again. But I do appreciate you trying it, Johnny D. That, yeah. that yeah, we do. Yeah, I do. Uh, too. Well, you know, and I, I like to know you limit I, on peer pressure. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Know, I need to know that if I'm going to talk you into something, I need at least three minutes of my life to. to you five, knew that five, already. But that was intense peer sir. pressure. Threatening and all that. And I knew the cameras didn't hurt. No, he he had hurt. a knife. I know. Can we bring and, that up? And, and, and then JD's going, uh, he was looking at me like, well, go ahead and cut me because I ain't eating the crap. <laughs> you you was, might as well stick me because I ain't eating that junk. You was ready to have stitches over trying to jalapeno by and. Well, next time, oh. I'm just taking the knife. So Not you gonna, really. You going to go with a few more questions other than flavors next time I ask you something like that? I mean, of all <laughs> our fans send in delicious snacks all the time. Oh, no. It went by. Yeah, And I was, was like, perfect. I'm excited. Yeah, it was perfect. <laughs> he it was, was excited. Yeah. Our fans are how perfect. I found Dot's pretzels, which, by the way, whoever that was that sent those in the first time, kudos, because I have spent a ton of money on them since. See, oh, I thought goodness. that's what we were doing here. Like, there was a jalapeno. We are. We're testers. Hmm. Hey. <laughs> you didn't know it, sir. You are a tester. <laughs> guinea pig. You're a tester. You're a guinea pig. <laughs> oh. Somebody's driving down the road listening right now. Just They're on their sixth Viana right now going, oh, I don't hey. get this guy. They ain't taking their finger and getting that jelly out. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're dipping it in the dirty ashtray. Hey, I, I had a buddy that done it, I'm telling you. He liked the jelly better than he did the vinyl sausage. Okay. No, I need that to heat up and get liquid. Oh, no, yeah, I need to pour it out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah it's, I need it's, got it. it's done its purpose. Wait, get it's rid of chicken? It. Have it. What, Vienna? That's part of it. Oh, you don't want to know what you don't want to know what's in oh, there. Oh no, there's a recall. On oh, which one? <laughs> I'm the just case, kidding. In case they send us. That was in 2017. They've refined their process and stuff. Oh hey, they they they've had recalls on everything, JD. Oh man, that's yeah. that makes that's me called so progress. Happy. Oh man. <laughs> My mom used to feed me as a kid something called chicken sticks, which was basically Vienna sausage, but put in like a uh, like a. It looked like a Gerber baby food bottle. Chicken sticks. Chicken sticks? Chick- yeah, never and it's heard just that. like a Vienna sauce. I, I ain't never, never seen that. him. You ain't never yeah, seen him. Me neither. Either. They're never, gross, too. Hey, I never even heard anything like that. I ain't That's either. That's that high-dollar Vienna Chick- sauce. That must have been on a different aisle. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't no variable Hormel and Vienna. <laughs> I think it is. Is it? I don't know. Look. Oh yeah, it's made by Gerber. Oh no, that's oh a it's jar. Vienna sausage for babies. That's, that's all a it is. Jar. <laughs> Makes there, sense. There you go. See, look, up on the screen. So you have eaten it before. Little sticks, chicken sticks. Two eleven. That That's just what it was. Meal. Hey, his mama fed him that ever since he was a little baby. Them babies is a premium. Yeah. Well, they're better for you. Hey, do me a favor. Take one of these cans home and have all your kids try them. Will they try them? No. Well, maybe. <laughs> I got two kids that eat like salads. They're weird. And I'm like, what are y'all doing? And I got one kid that doesn't eat anything. Who's that? Ben's. He won't. He, he won't eat nothing. Nothing. That's like eat stone. Some, That's like stone. Eh, sometimes. Chicken nuggets. Sometimes, but Sage. sometimes he's like, no. Sage is a is a bread eater. Bread. Yeah, bread. Hard. And then once you make the pizza, they got little pizzas that you just you know bring it out, take it, wrap, unwrap it, and it's like a taco. And then you got all the ingredients in another thing, like the sauce and the cheese and the. Pe- so like a lunchable. Yeah, lunchable. So pizza. yeah, so she's making it, and she takes all this time making it and arranging everything just right. Then she puts it in there and cooks it. And as soon as it comes out hot, she picks everything off, and then just takes a, a knife and scrapes the sauce up and eats the sauce, and then throws everything else away. Hmm. Why'd she put it on there? I guess Who he knows? needs it heated up. My yeah. oldest. To heat it up, I guess. My oldest will eat anything, though, because one time me and him had a stare down. I didn't have any other kids, so I didn't have anything else to do. And I, so now we got stare down going. We sat in a, he sat in a high chair looking at some roast beef for an hour. I said, I got nothing better to do, bro. You going to eat it. You going to eat it. Instead of throw it on the floor. And now he eats anything. There you go. Will he eat a him? Yeah, I'll eat it for sure. Well, he had a feeding tube for the first year of his life, so he's just happy to be eating food. Yeah. I can joke about That's that. He's, he's my son. He's fired up for food, man. Yeah. I can understand well, He's eight now. Well, he's there's old. no way you're going to end up president if you don't know the people. And he, you don't know the people till you eat a Vienna. He's, so. he's going to be president. He put it on know, his you gotta, He wants people. to be on Rushmore. Yeah. Hey, you got to be with people. Boy. So let me ask Have you Have I told something. you that? My oldest son's going to be on Mount Rushmore. Oh, I like oh, I think I've heard that. I like he's the positivity the boy's got. Yeah. He's tearing. Where does he get that from? Oh. But he's well, taking Thomas Jefferson off 
I said, why Uh-oh. are you going to take Thomas Jefferson Wait a minute. off? Why are you going to take Tom off? He said, he's boring. <laughs> oh, he's boring. boring. So apparently whatever book he's reading, Thomas Jefferson wasn't that right. exciting of a guy. So, Johnny D., let me, ask, was you something. Let me ask you something about uh, your food and the way you eat. Uh-huh. Is it okay for a food to be mixed together or can it not touch? I like mixed together. Okay. Depends on what it is. You know anybody whose food can't touch? Yeah, I've seen people. What? Like that. What? I'm not the oh. kid behind the I never, I never knew that. And Hunter oh, no. too. Well, it, it all look, ends no, no. up the same place. Well, no, no, but it. Hey, it wasn't me. What? Okay, it's my daughter. Oh, your daughter's like that. Oh no, no, no! Everything's got a place, and 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 you no, you don't. Mm. See, there ain't nothing I hate more than a plate with dividers in it. Oh no, 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 no! I, 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 let's up. let everybody have yeah, fun but, together. No, no, but it ain't no divide. But everything's got its place. And hey, you don't I don't let don't let an English P run over here and get with the mashed you potatoes. Right huh. Okay. What about, I mean, she's, I'm serious. It was it's the deal about everything's got its place and everything's gotta stay in its place. Does she eat in like an order? She started. Oh no, over she here eats with... like a horse. <laughs> okay. The woman What did you but... think an order was when he asked that question? <laughs> well no no no. I'm just saying she uh, oh <laughs> horse, like man. Horse. She eats enough for two people. Okay, but it, it don't mix none of it. And I said, Tracer, it gets mixed once you <laughs> go chew it up and swallow it. Well, some stuff's you know, better not mixed. mixed. It goes well, I mean, yeah, I don't stuff. want ice cream on my fried chicken, but I mean, like. Yeah, but it, but you can mix your mashed potatoes but like if and my your roast purple, beef. But if my purple whole peas end up over there playing with the mashed potatoes, that's nope, cool. Nope, uh, nope, 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 that's cool. Nope. Oh, no, she'll take the fork and the knife and take them out of there. No, you can't. Mm, no. I, I wouldn't mix those. That's a no-no. I've got some friends who won't let the, no, no. none of their food touch. No, you can't do it. No. <laughs> And don't don't reach over, you know, like Ben Dad. I just thought I'd well, she had a big steak there and it really looked good, so I just took one piece of it. Oh good you know, I've committed a crime here. <laughs> now, and, look, she, I, and she would like to kill me. Now look, I'm 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 gonna side with her on that one. Well, Whatever's hey, no, on no. my plate and mine. Yeah. <laughs> no, but once you have kids, <laughs> if you open the whatever they bring you a snack, you open it, you get the first two. That's a rule in my house. Tax. Oh, rule. Called taxes. Oh. Okay. Well, hey. So they gotta learn. Hey. Well, I guess they hate my, them too. I guess at my house there wasn't no rules. Uh-uh, no rules. No rules. Except don't touch her plate. That's right. Don't touch my plate. My same way. And now. don't yeah. let the peas. My food. My food. Really? Yeah. Man, I love purple whole peas with mashed potatoes. Oh no, mm, I, me too. Too. I love purple whole peas. <laughs> Ooh wee. But hey, don't be. You don't want them playing with, with your tape. No, don't be playing with tape. Oh <laughs> man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man, that's living now. I'm with Sal on this. Or if it ends up in your fresh cream, sweet corn from the garden, that's fine. It all yeah. come from oh, the no, same no, place. No, and it's no, all no, going no. to the same no, place. No, I'm no, cool. no, no. Wait, wait, what? No, no, no. I like to mix it together a little no, bit. No, wait, mix what together? Wait. Corn, mashed potatoes. No. Yeah. Uh, what in the name of no. that KFC failed bowl <laughs> experiment are we talking about? Yeah, yeah. You're like Willie. Yeah, everything. No, Willie's no, no, no. Right, now Willie everything. puts it all in one pot. Well, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Goulash. We talking about once it gets to your plate, Goulash. and then he puts yeah. a block of Velveeta right on top. Till yeah, it, all it good. <laughs> everything. Hey, that's Willie, called the slim Willie's slow. The deal about I'm with the everything goes better with bacon. Well, Willie, everything goes better with cheese and bacon and bacon <laughs> and grease and yeah and candied it. jalapeno. Oh yeah, all of it. Hey, right well, let's take another break. We'll be back right after. That is, boys. See what my wife talked me into. Tell us what you did. I've been uh, hold on. It, we're gonna show it on the screen, the peak, then I'll tell you peak, what I did. The peak of did you text it there, to me? Uh-huh. His wife talked him into something. Granted, she's seven and a half months pregnant. Martin, attachment. So, what, it, what color of her eyes? What's her what, what's her height? Who, my wife? Yeah. Five eleven and hazel. I okay, think five eleven it. hazel. Well, there's smart. The boy's got what? You got melons on your belly there, bud? She uh, wanted to strap watermelons to me so that I could have the experience she's having. How many watermelons you got? Two. Okay. Roughly the same size as the kids. So that's what I did. Hey, that girl's sharp. Well, yeah. I don't care what you say. Well, she married me. She's pretty smart. I guarantee yeah. you. Hey. Hey. Look at there. I knew I liked her. That's what I did. Huh? Yeah. How was your back? Sweaty. Very sweaty. Saran wrap does yeah. not breathe. Saran wrap's not the move I would have pulled. Well, hey, she did, and I just said, yes, dear. <laughs> She's handled this with I, uh, I love it. With, with with a lot uh, more grace uh, than I probably would have. There so you go. I said, if that's what you want to do, that's what we're going to do. So I walked around all day yesterday like that. All day? All Does day. Did your back hurt today? Did your back from, hurt? From what time to what time? 
Uh, that was mid morning, about nine till about seven last night when I quit cooking dinner. Oh, you, you let it, you you sold you were in. Oh, I went in with no, it. No, no. Oh, I love it. Have yeah. you had mood swings? No. Are you craving any weird foods? Everything. Watermelon? Because well, I <laughs> no. tell you, when no, you... I don't want a watermelon for a minute. No, no, A and M's got some problems. I right tell now. you when you told me y'all was pregnant. Uh huh. I said y'all gonna have so much fun. See, look at it. Look, no, no. here's what yeah. I figured out. She's yeah. done this all, and she don't get to take them off. If she asked me to do oh, that yeah. for a day, yeah. Yeah. I'm in. Yeah, I'm in. Hashtag TikTok made her do it oh, is yeah. what she said. Yeah. I don't know, but she saw it on TikTok <laughs> well, and no, asked no. me if I'd do it. So no, I did it. Hey, she I, made me get in the bed, roll over, oh, no, do no, all no. the things. No, no. Yeah. All that mess. Hey. She untied my shoes. My shoes ain't been untied in two years. <laughs> I just slip them on. I'm not a big shoe tire. Yeah. I love it. She got them and she went, boom. Oh, she said, now you got to tie your shoes. That's right. Now you got to tie your shoes. She made me shoot my bow. That's right. How'd you tie Hand your over. shoes? I put my leg up on my other leg. I sat down and I crossed my legs. <laughs> I couldn't get down there to them. The bow's on the side of a shoe. Yeah. Uh-oh. There went your charger. Oh, we're good. So, yeah. Stay young. Keep dating. That's what we did. Well, no, no. Here. I tell you, it's a blast. That's fun. It was a good uh, time. Yeah, I say this. Way, what better way to, okay. You just don't know how I feel, darling. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She made me sit down yeah. on the toilet oh, and hey, get up. Well, hey, here's the news. Here's the uh-huh. news. Here's the news flash for you. Hey, let's take two forty-pound watermelons. And we're gonna. They wasn't that big. We're gonna, wrap, we're gonna wrap them around of your belly. They was about four and, and, and a half pounds each. You're gonna carry them for about two weeks. They was about four and a half Good pounds grief. each. Yeah. A forty-pound watermelon is pretty big. That's a big one. He wouldn't have fit on my belly. Well, no, no, and I've seen. Hey, I'm telling you. In the later stages of their pregnancy? Yeah, the doctor told her this morning, said, I think you're going to get 37, 38 weeks. And we both looked at each other like, Ooh. Ooh. Oh, no, there ain't enough hey, room I, for that. Oh, no, no, yeah. Oh, yeah, there is. Oh, the doctor said, don't worry, you're going to get bigger. Oh, yeah. I'm like, how? She goes she go straight out as it is. There's some ways you can not uh-uh. speed that up but we only at 30 weeks hammer we ain't trying oh, yeah, to speed that up no we got the big stop sign we're the third base coach doing this like well when, when, hey, when hey, we hit hey, 36 hey, weeks hey. we were jumping on trampolines eating Here's crawfish the they don't see no signals who huh the kids the babies don't oh, that's see why no we signals. doing everything we can to not give them any ideas <laughs> Well, I'm going to tell you, you got to jump up and down and do all this you want to about, whoa, whoa. I ain't Don't no jump whoa. up and down. I did get clearance <laughs> to go to Wyoming. so <laughs> You're clear. I did. Martin's uh, going to from, Wyoming, everybody. From her and the doctor, and I didn't have to pay the doctor a cent. So have you taken the breathing classes with your wife, Lamont's classes? For what? Lamont. For the pregnancy? For the delivery? For the delivery. I just watched The that. only thing we need to know about that delivery is where the scalpel is. Oh. Did you do that, Johnny D? I watched the episode of Saved by the Bell when they did it. That's close enough. Count. I remember that. (laughs) (laughs) There's some people listening to this podcast that just got excited, and there's some that are like, what are they talking about? about? I had a big sister. Yeah, there Uh, you go. That's it. All right. Well, you took those classes. Are you gonna be? Yes. In, are you gonna be in there with her for the, for the whole process? Well, I hope so. Well, I'm just saying. Yeah, I so plan now, on being. Hey, <clears throat> why not? No, I couldn't handle it. Oh couldn't yeah, handle oh it. yeah, yeah, no. yeah. You got to be there. No, you just ate a jalapeno vienna. Hey. You can handle that. No, you could handle it. No, because I took my daughter to the emergency room one time. She had a, a <laughs> stepped on a stone. Hold on, and, she was already born. How did you know that you? No, 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 no. I'm just saying. <laughs> hey, and timeline they, doesn't they, add up, bro. They <laughs> cut her, and when she started bleeding, you know, the doctor, the nurse grabbed me because I'm fainting. <laughs> For a man who likes so, to hunt, hold on, and harvest yeah. things, so I, oh, and no. went to war. Yeah, so I forgot that about you. Yeah, Even you about, spent time in Vietnam and a and a two inch cut in the ER. Yeah, hurt hey, you. He I'm just can't you, handle nothing. But like it was that. my daughter. So when Christine needed to go to the ER, I was like, "Sire," si, he was like, "You got it, you got it, Philip." No, no, I'm serious. Now I remember. I am not. Yeah, a, he, he ain't. He I ain't the guy ain't. to go up to the hospital. So you do have some Robertson in you. <laughs> No, TLC ain't no your I've got a bunch of coward in me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's not that, cowardice. No, no it, yes, it is. It is. I, no, you can't. You I just... know cowardice. I'm one, buddy. Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, when it comes to all that kind of stuff, I couldn't watch it. Well, yeah, but I mean, that. I've heard people talk about it. Yeah, I was watching it and talking about it. It's the most amazing thing, and I was just over here. 
But Sai, when when I'm, me and Christine came I'm back, going out. When we came back from the ER, you were waiting, standing by the door, pacing back and forth until oh, no, we no, got no, back. No, 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 no. I'm worried to death. Right. Okay. He just can't be in there. Right. I just That's what can't I'm saying. Be involved in it because, like, I'm not a. Yo, know, you got those people that are crisis management people, and you're just the crisis. Oh, I'm the crisis. <laughs> I'm the management. I'm, hey. I'm the crisis manager. Oh, hey. oh, no, I am a crisis. <laughs> call Phil. Yeah, call okay. Phil. Yeah, call. Yeah. Call, call the someone. man wearing a referee okay. shirt. Yeah. Call someone else because I'm out. Okay. Yeah. Oh, man. So I said, no, I'm just a coward. No, I'm out. No, no. And that's one of the things that I was so lucky, especially since I was an NCO, you know, and I never had to go to war and actually lose any of my people. That's right. great. There you go. But look, you still so not, went. So, so you're not. a lot of things, but you ain't a coward. No, you can call yourself right. whatever you want to, well, but yeah, you ain't no coward. That's what I was saying. There's, there's a different said. way to look at it. You just you don't want to have to go and deal with, with that kind of stuff because it hurts you. You know, you just can't do it. Well, so but I'm like, not but a, like you said, I'm not a crisis manager. No. Yeah. no. yeah, but you're not a. That's coward. right. Yeah, that's the right. only way Hold I'm on. going to Vietnam is on vacation. Uh, yeah. Oh, hey, and you'd enjoy it because it's a beautiful country. By the way. No, no, I'm serious. By the way. It's a drop dead country. It really is. Drop dead, right? yeah. Well, I don't mean he forgot that. gorgeous. That yeah, one, gorgeous. yeah, that wasn't the pun. Okay, that wasn't the pun. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> wrong, wrong, wrong choice of words. I'm, I apologize for that. Okay. I will say that when we went out to Murray's, I brought some uh, old coins that I've been collecting for a long time. I wanted Murray to look at them. And I had two dongs from oh, Vietnam. Vietnam. Vietnamese dong. Yep. Yep. My we granddaddy dug, went to Vietnam. We dug up Sai's whole yard looking for right. that thing. All we found was twenty dollars and seventy two cents and loose change for What'd you do with it? Where's the where's the the we, treasure? I went and reburied it after they left. <laughs> <laughs> one one of these days it's gonna be worth millions. <laughs> well good, because I looked it up while we were there and it was worth like point zero 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 three cents. Not a lot. Like, That's right, boy. Hmm. Not a lot, boy. So time, time makes everything's price go up. Mm. Mm. I, <laughs> what a weird podcast. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. If you're still with us, thank you. Speaking of time, uh, it's time. Let's take another break. Take another break, break boys. Get out of here. He said, Philip, I need somebody to spend the night with Christine at the hospital, and I got a poker game. So uh, head on up there. Well, no, because here's the bad part about that. Okay. You really had a poker game? Well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is we're rolling. Yeah. So you're you're telling people about yourself. Well, I ain't now. worried about that. And okay. the poker game was at Philip's house. <laughs> Philip, I need you to leave. No, no, because no, hey, look, my wife had already told Philip said, "Hey, look, you gonna have to go with me." And that's when we became related because she said, yeah. "You can't hey, go unless yeah. you're my kinfolk." Yeah, you're kinfolk. You're my nephew yeah. now. Tell me, man, I gotta go in there. She's my aunt. There you go. Because my, my wife, look, Robertson for one the hospital, day, too when, much. Look, when she goes to the hospital, <laughs> too much. the last person she wants around is you. Is me. Why is that? Because I'm no good. No, you tap, that, you. you tap, you tap, you talk, you tap. That's what she says. <laughs> well, I'm just saying, hey, the woman <laughs> needs, hey, the woman needs care and rest. She needs quiet okay. most yeah. of yeah. all. Though. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> He and never I, stops I, making those noises. Look, okay. And I oh, okay. 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 Well, go. hey, look, you He's go talking to the TV. Nurse. Nobody's there. Yeah. Nurse. Yeah. What are you going to do in a hospital Help room? Me. Okay. She's in bed sick. Okay. Can't do nothing. And then, hey. <laughs> That's know. what he's doing the whole time. <laughs> yeah. That's it. Silas hey. Robertson. <laughs> you know, the nurse comes in. Y'all got any of that ice cream? <laughs> <laughs> I got. Hey, hey, I can see why it took me so long to convince her to marry me. Yeah, me too. You wouldn't stop making noise long enough to ask your question. Oh, that's oh, a weird boy. one. Speaking of weird, why are you wearing a referee outfit and you hadn't said anything hey. about it? Well, I thought I told y'all I came straight from work and um, they had a ball game. He was a ref. I had a ball game and I was ref. What's the your, game? You're an umpire. A, a basketball game, yeah. Referee. He only threw seven people out. How can a guy that's five six be a basketball hey, referee? Hey, Whoa. easy, easy. Now, how you hey, gonna tee up Shaq? You should have just rolled him up and made about your play to him for the basketball. Hey, 
guy. What? You're supposed to be on my team. I am on your team, buddy. Oh. Hey, no, you so I ain't on anybody's team who's hey. an official. Hey, Let I, me just tell I, you I that. I know right he's now. not. Anybody that has rules and regulations. Hey, that's right. He's that. not for Hey, I'm, I'm with Jace, okay? First so, thing you got to realize is, hey, there's no rules. There's no rules. you got to be tough-skinned to be a Robertson, right. by the so way. So what, what kind of basketball game did you umpire? We Well, this is just kids playing kids. Hey, oh, so you hey, were like one. the tallest one hey, on the court, then. One. That's good. <laughs> they had a staff game. I wouldn't I wouldn't do that one. <laughs> you didn't get invited? You just Too got, tall. told the referee? There was a height requirement for referees. Hey, that's right, height, height requirement. He couldn't He's I didn't ever notice you were that short. Um, <laughs> J.D., tell them who won when we arm wrestled. Me and you? I'm not an arm wrestler, sir. Beep. Big man. Thank you. Yeah, Whatever his name thank was. Thank you, big man. Okay. Giant. I done, I done forgot his name. Michael. Michael. Monster. There you go. Monster yeah, Michael. Michael Monster. But to be fair, like two weeks later, I was in the hospital. So, I mean, I, I was clearly not at the top of my game. So, I, what put you in the hospital? <laughs> Tell him that. Apparently, you arm wrestled me with COVID on your hands, <laughs> Spit sir. all over us. Oh. That was Vienna oh. sauce's jelly. I should have taken a yeah. shower after I arm wrestled you. Now, see, if you. you'd have had them jalapeno Viennas with that jelly, it would have just slid yeah. right that'd off of That would give you some more strength. Yeah, that actually it kills <laughs> anything that goes inside <laughs> of you, They're for healthy, sure. boys. Hey. Because them things are good. If Walking Dead happens, that's when I'm going to start eating Vienna sausage. Well, yep. it'd be one. It stays good for a long time. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Is right. it ever? Good. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Just checking. I, I don't know, know that they get worse though. <laughs> Is there an expiration date? I don't know. Negative. Goblin thought that on a jar of pickles, and that didn't work out for him. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, we had. Good. I remind me, we had one sitting in a jar in the duck blind. The pickle. It, yeah. Hey, That's the one tell I'm us the story. <laughs> Martin oh, no, no, doesn't no, know no, it. No, tell no, us. No, tell us. Tell hey, us. Hey, <laughs> They had been, this jar of pickles had been there for 20 years. But it's pickled, it's good. That, yeah, I but hey, even that. look, you know, when, when, like, you got a jar and they're green with vinegar in it. That's mm -hmm. pickles. These had turned tan. Oh. They's a little brown. Sigh, si, was oh. there anything left in the jar? Oh, yeah. There, there were about two, three there pickles. Was, oh, no, there were about was, two pickles. Was the jar sealed, like, with the little it's push sealed. Top? No, no, but anyway, we had, had a camera. It open. We had a cameraman. So oh, once Lyle, it's open, it's tough. Lyle Sinky. Well, hey, we done been there all day from, like, 4.30 a.m., and, like, it's going toward sundown right now. And he looking around, and he found that jar of pickles. He said, I'm starving to death. And we said, well, I, I wouldn't eat them if I was you. They, they, they. Well, so fine. They're normally green in color. Them are like cardboard color, and they, you know, you know, So he wow. said, "Hey, he <laughs> looked around there a couple of times, and he said, I'm going in, boys.' No. The problem is, there's so, a fifty-fifty chance the pickles weren't even ours. That they oh. could have floated up from down the river. Oh yeah, <gasps> yeah, oh yeah. I mean, there really is. I like. So did he? Yeah. He eat it? Did he get oh, sick? No, no. We watched him for about two weeks. He acted funny, but hey, yeah. He was funny anyway, so yeah, hey. that could have been never mind. Sinky's the only one I ever met who overdosed on Dramamine. He did. He do laid that. in bed for three days when we were on that fishing trip. Mm -hmm. He was like, Sinky, you get up. he could get up and fish for an hour and go back and lay down. Well, no, Sinky? hey, I may have uh, hey, if yo, know, if you get seasick, I've been on a couple of ones where a pilot that flew us down there, he went with us and he got sick from the moment he stepped on the boat. And we were out there like three days. And Sinky. he had to fly you back. And he had to fly me. And I, it, it, was, it was killing me watching him. What? Okay. Watching him be sick. Oh. He's an interesting yeah. character. My man's out on all sides of pain. Whether oh, yeah. he's in yeah. pain, you're in pain, hey, it don't matter. No, no. He out. Yeah. My it's tolerance a, of good. pain, okay, is thin as a sheet of paper. Mm. It's non-existent, Okay. Oof. Sinky's weird though, because like one time we were in your office, Martin, and you said, "Hey, Sinky, what size shoe do you wear?" And he said, "Oh, brother, anywhere between a nine and a 13. <laughs> True yeah. story. And I was well, like, "Hey, no, that's four sizes. Yeah. How does that work?" He's the only man I know that hunts deer at night. Well, no, no, <laughs> no, that's a lie. Uh, from from <laughs> from the top, he knows of Jimmy a, Red. From the top of a tree. Yeah. No, he does do that. The top. Okay, it's, it's, and I mean, hey, I ain't talking about, no, I'm talking about, hey, go up as far as the limb will sustain his weight. That's true. Uh, you know, and I'm, generally I'm, it involves crossing trees, too. Yeah, yeah, and I'm looking up and I'm saying, uh, well, they ain't ever going to see you, Sinky. No. <laughs> yeah. He's up, he gets No, their neck don't go down. Yeah, high. yeah, it don't, it, he ain't have to be doing this. Yeah. yeah. But I have had a deer, and I'm like 14, 16 feet high. Look up and he gone. Look up at you? Oh, yeah. 
Well, yeah, you ain't but 14 feet high. Well, I'm just that saying. That ain't very hey, high. Well, I know, but hey, I thought it was up there high enough, but evidently, no, sir. Oh, you get up there about 40. They yeah. don't look that high. Uh-uh. Oh, they don't look that high. Thank you, said, hey, they ain't going to see me. That, yeah. Well, that's the problem. See, like, I'm getting ready to go to Wyoming. Problem is, there'll only be 15 foot of ladder because everything's on a hill out yep. there. Oh, yeah. So you oh, climb yeah. up the short side of the tree. Yeah. Well, by the time you step over to the front side of that tree, yeah. you look down, you're, you're 40, 50 foot up there. Oh, you're yeah. like, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, because me and gravity, we tight, yeah. man. Yeah. I don't like yeah. being that high off the yeah. ground, unless I'm in an aeroplane. Yeah, because mm-hmm. what come, goes up will come back. I don't yeah. even like At going. negative 9.8 like meters heights. per second yeah, squared. Like coming back anymore. down. That's, that's how fast it's coming. Yeah. I, don't, I don't dig that. But, you know, duck hunters, we ain't got to do that. That's right. We get to look them in the eye. Yeah, we get to know. <laughs> the lower you are, the better you are. <laughs> what about that big tall blind y'all used to go to? Yeah, and see, I wouldn't have done that. When y'all oh, shot Oh, no, down. no. That was, hey, that was the most beautiful spot you'd ever want to go to. But y'all were yeah. pretty high. Oh, no, no. We're, we're in yeah, the, they was up in the tree, too. We're in the highest cypress tree <laughs> in that area. Is that the one y'all put the, the trailer in? Oh, no, no. On? No, no that was my trailer. That's my deer stand. Yeah, that's his deer stand. That's, that's my, my deer trailer. Stand. Right. No, we actually built a blind in the top of a cypress tree up there at B Break. Okay, and it was about like a well, I, I'll tell you how high it was. You could take a three and a half inch Browning shotgun with twos, number twos, shot, and let a Mallard Drake light in the decoys under that blind, lean over and put it right on his middle of his back and could not kill him. Why was seventy you- seventy Probably 70, 75, 80 feet tall. That's back before heavy shot was made. Oh, I thought you were about to say 70 yards. I was oh, no, no, no. Well, I hate whatever. It's 80, you know, 80 feet up in the air? Oh, 80 feet up on top of this tree. The <laughs> coolest thing I was, there's a fog that morning. When you stand on the shooting porch, okay, when you stand up, you're above the, the blind, the top the of the fog. blind. <laughs> Okay, so I'm standing there waiting for the sun to come up, and the fog is below me. Okay, I look <laughs> You're over above here. the the clouds. Hey, right, yeah, and I'm looking at the sun, and here comes 25 wood ducks floating by. Okay, in gun range, you know, just boom, 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 three for three. Did Phil say cut them? Uh, no, he wasn't there. But hey, no that, witnesses. That was the prettiest sight. Key to his stories. <laughs> okay. Oh no, it's a beautiful spot. Well, eyewitness reports are no good. That's right. <laughs> Cop <laughs> tell you that. Cop <laughs> tell you that. Hey, Sai. Si, so, so y'all were shooting down on them. Oh yeah, we'd okay. let them light, and then when we got enough in the decoy, I'd say, okay, that's enough. Let's get them. We'd stand up. Well, they got to come up by you. Yeah, you just wait. Boom. Three for three. Grab uh, another gun. Grab another gun and kill three more. <laughs> oh, no. And I actually could do that. Yeah. You could do that till you got to 10. That's right. Go to 10, man. The most we ever lit in there was about 3,000. Was there an eyewitness report to that? Yeah. my my Me, Tommy Robertson, and my father. <clears throat> we let them, and Dad, <laughs> Daddy said, uh, Boys, I think we got enough on the water. Let's go ahead and shoot them. Oh, wow. Mm. Yeah. And, and look, you could hear the dead ducks hitting the ones coming up, going down, hitting, hitting the wings. You pow, could pow, hear pow. them? Oh, yeah. It was what? that many ducks coming up off of the water. Help me, I'm shot. Oh, yeah. No, no, it's because the dead ones are falling and falling through the live ones. I oh, it ain't. Sports, no. baby. It's so so much stuff you can see. Like one morning we're sitting there in the daylight, you know, the sun comes up and the ducks start flying. Well, we look, here comes some ripples out of the buck brush, right straight toward the blind. Well, here comes nine otters, river otters. Well, they go down there and, and it, it was just like a bunch of cowboys herding some cows. They started going in a circle, you know, and you could see the water start rippling. In the circle, then every once in a while, a big buffalo would jump in the air. Then they'd all just hit them at one time. They'd catch one fish, go over to the bank, and you talking about growling and fighting and everything. <clears throat> they'd eat him, and then here they come again. All lined up, go down there, get in a shallow end of the lake, 
get them fish circled up again, then hit them again and catch another one. There you go. But hey, eyewitness. That wasn't even on Planet Earth. Uh, hey, no, that's, that was. Hey, that was live at, at Moss. <laughs> that's Lake. on Sci TV. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. let's take our last break. We'll be back right after this. We're back. What are you doing? It's the best time Woodpecker. of the episode. <laughs> that, that's exactly why. I, that's that's why it. Christine that's doesn't right. want him. Out. That's right, boys. Um, He's loud. Hello oh. at duckcallroom.com is the email. Email address. me sometime. I'll read it. We're yeah. getting in the mailbox, boys. What's in there, Sean? Oh, I got a, quite a few today. Which We're just going to throw some out there. Well, hey, give us your best shot. Noah from Kingsport. Tennessee. Tennessee. I'm Hoping oh. to say Jamaica, but Kings no, it's Tennessee. Um, my question no, uh, is this: He's he's okay, man. I messed that email. The no, I apologize for not being able to read. Here we go. He has a question about his future career choice. He's thinking about becoming a translator for deaf people and teaching sign language. I currently he's learning sign language and enjoy it, but he thought he was going to end up a welder. And make a lot of money because welding's a good gig. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, what should he do? We get to pick his career for life. Well, my question is, what do you want to do? And can you do both? Yeah, can you? And do hey, both? I thought why those... not do the sign language and the other stuff, teaching to help the deaf and well, make you money and have to do what yeah. you want to do. There you go. But hey, it's up to you. It's what where your passion is. I'm actually taking uh, Spanish classes right now so that I can be a translator for the children's home when we have clients come in that Ooh, may really not. okay yeah. what how long how say something in Spanish Los amano amigos hey, there you go poco peso that's a, that means Johnny D I got a little bit of money <laughs> that's right do you see so how far along are you? I'm not very far along okay but but I'm but I am doing you're going it. for it yeah that's awesome so, Pablo Grande don't get smart with me, Martin. <laughs> I was just asked him if you knew where the big turkey was. That's right. No, where a big you, turkey I thought is. you called me a you big turkey. You would have turkey. to say, oh. Donde Esta. Yeah. Donde Esta. I took Spanish once. <laughs> I don't remember much of it. I took it at 10 in high school. Did you really? Yeah. Si, do you remember anything? You nope. might could help me. Nope. Uh, never mind. Nope. Get back to welding. Get back That's to it. Right. No, uh, yeah, no, I'd just say you got to figure out what you love to do and do that. And if you love there both you of them, do them both. That's it. Yeah. That's a pretty easy answer. Martin says it's an easy choice, man. Both of them. Where you at, Martin? It's called multitasking. Oh, I, said, I mean, I don't. Is I don't. Does the translator is that a full time gig? Like I don't. I honestly don't know. That's a it can because be. I only I see them like be. on like special occasions. You see them at like big events and stuff like that. So that's why I don't know. I don't know the day to day life of a translator. That's why I, I don't. Well, I think they're more of like a teacher day to day, and oh, then okay. they do the big events. Well, man, if, you're, if like you're called that. to teach, go teach. Like, I don't, you know, I don't, I don't know that. I used I to know the alphabet. I don't know it anymore. Yeah. It's that's just knowledge. a lot of stuff. I don't know about that. But if you're called to teach and you can do it a full-time gig, do it. Like, if you don't want to weld. Yeah. Know. Back to what Sai said, just what's your heart? Yeah. Desire, whatever you're, you know? whatever you feel like God's calling for you is. If that's to weld something, weld it. it Where can you make a difference? Yeah. If it's to be a translator and a teacher, do that. Like, I don't, hey, whatever. I didn't think I was going to be GM of a duck call company when I was getting a biology degree. So what do I know? You know, <laughs> you never know what these doors open. So, yep. So I never knew he was going to be an actor on TV. What's that? Did you take a bunch of classes to do all that? Oh, stuff? sure. I went to USC up there in California <laughs> for eight years. <laughs> Studied drama. <laughs> Not bad. Did you pay your loans uh, off? <laughs> oh boy! Oh boy! All no. right. Anyway, Teddy no. t- Teddy emails in uh, from uh, he just moved from uh, back to Knoxville, Tennessee. Rocky mm. Knoxville. That's where the goal's at, Pa. Well, he moved there from Michigan. Okay. Uh, he just did that in the last year, and he just recently found a good church uh, that I've been going to. But he's finding it difficult to really fit in and make friends. Uh, it seems like everybody is really close together and they're doing stuff, but he goes every Sunday, he tries to go Thursday nights, but his work schedule makes it difficult. Uh, he's been going there for a while and he feels like he's just the new guy that's just there. Do we have any advice to make it easier to try and fit in? I don't want to get in nobody's business here, but if that's the kind of feeling you're having at a church, you may need to go find a different church. Well, no, no, that's yeah. Well, 
I've never had a problem getting involved on anything I wanted to at the church house. Yeah. Yeah. There's always been people that's inviting that'll let yeah. you in and do all that. And so that if, really depends on because But are you being forward enough to do it? There so, it is. Right, there, because, that's it. You gotta you gotta go outside your comfort zone and you gotta go talk to the preacher, talk to some people, find out where there's a niche, a need, and start being involved doing that, meeting other people along the way. Uh, because look, we all have no matter how big your and of course, we're all just one church, but no matter how big the church building you go to is, it seems like people are going to group with other people that they're they're um, that they're like. So I mean, you do see some of that. But when you go in and try to help and find out where you can be useful, you're going to meet a lot more people, and some doors are going to open. So I say, first of all, try to see what you can get into. Be more vocal about it. Mm-hmm. Be uh, let it I, be known. What because yeah. what is known. It's manageable. Man, profit. Y'all y'all ain't going to let me live that no. down. That's a great line. It is. Not. Cy came up with it and blamed it hey, on me. Well, hey, I, yeah, I agree with you. The thing about it is, if you know, I don't know how long you've been there. Four months. Four months. If you've been outgoing and you still like feel like the odd man out, I would go try another place. Yeah. If you've yeah. been sitting back waiting on them to come to yeah. you. Yeah, that was my. And like yeah. you're sitting there saying, "Man, I'm hoping somebody yeah. to say, will you come volunteer for this?'" No, yeah. man, you gotta, you gotta go. I've always found they're always pretty easy to get involved, but you just have to take that first step. Because I, I know it. So. If where we go to church, okay, they got they got more stuff you can get involved mm-hmm. with. Mm-hmm. And like Philip said, the key to it is okay, is that you know you have your dis your likes and dislikes. So hey, run with people, find people that have the same likes as you do. That's where you're going to tend to, to be drawn to. You know. yep. but, if, but if you've been there for four months and still feel like you're the odd man out, I, I would go try another uh, congregation. Yeah. yeah, that was going to be my, my – my answer is a question to you because you feel like you're the new guy who is just there. And I you've been say, there for Are you, the, are new you the new yeah. guy that is yeah. just there? Are you just yeah. sitting there? Putting and, a little money in the plate and moving on? Like, and then yeah. out of there because yeah. if – you know, there's if it's a big church, they don't. Uh, there's a lot of people to take yeah, care of, and so. But you know, if you want to get involved, they ain't gonna say no. Uh, so you, and some people are super shy, and I get that. Uh, I'm not one of them. But if you want to really get involved, just dive in. Yeah, yeah. And be the guy that everybody's like, oh, there he is. And and from all my experience in Knoxville, if you want people to talk to you, just show up in like an Alabama shirt or a Florida Gator shirt. Yeah. Somebody gonna come say something to you. <laughs> might not be nice. No, it might not be nice. Even in the church building. Yeah. But really, go go out of your way and, and try to give it one last shot of going out of your way, trying to get plugged in. If that don't work, we would do like old Phil Robertson always says, just check it to the whole Bunch of them, hey, and that's biblical. <laughs> and that's biblical. Okay, that's biblical. Check it to the whole bunch of that's them. Right. Just check it to yeah, the find whole that one. Bunch. Find that one for our verse today. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I don't know that I'm going to find that. Right. Uh, it's about verse. the one that takes. Hey, shake the shake the dust off your feet and move yeah, on. That's right. Oh, so it doesn't actually say check, check it to no. the whole bunch. That's of just. Right. Check I was wondering bunch. what translation that would be. Yeah, yeah. Right. That's, that's slang. I'm giving you the slang version. Oh. Yep. Okay. All right, Matt. Not a direct quote. Then. Not a direct quote. Si, it size. Dust, dust is in the biblical one. I'm size paraphrasing. Yeah, paraphrasing. I got, boys. It. I got it. He's, He's got, got it. it. There you go. Well, look, there you go. Are we ready let's, for the verse? Let's, let's head All on. All right, up. Matthew 10 14. He said, check it to the. Ho-. No, not really. Matthew 10 14. <laughs> if anyone will not welcome you or listen to your words, leave that home or town and shake that dust off your feet. AKA. Check it, <laughs> Check it to the whole bunch. Sue Taylor boys. Swift was writing oh, biblical bunch. music. Golly, we'll see y'all next time right here in the Duck. That's it, boy. Yeah. Si, that's too funny. <laughs>